Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the bomb fruit, unlock all its powers, and become pro. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. You asked for it. Here we go, guys. Bomb rework. So let's eat this fruit and let's start grinding and showcasing its new skills. So first up, we got the targeted bomb. So from the name itself, you can target the area where you want it to explode. There you go. So let's try it. Guys, just a reminder, make sure to aim properly. To be able to hit all your enemies. Check that out, I missed one. But in terms of the damage, it's really good. Again, it's multi-target. And what I like with the first skill is you can adjust. There you go, the area where it will explode. Okay. So guys, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 15. Next island is the jungle. We're gonna go straight to the gorillas. I suggest you skip the monkeys because they are so far apart. It is easier to grind the bandits until level 15, okay? So with the gorillas, you're gonna reach level 22. And after that, gorilla king. Another good thing with this skill is the range. Oh, and by the way, check the damage, guys. It's different. So first is 95, next is 101. Other one is 108. So guys, can you help me with this? Should I target the mob or the ground? If you know the answer, comment it in the comment section. Level 30, we're gonna leave this area and we're gonna unlock the F skill on the next island. That island is a pirate village and our first target is the pirates. So again guys, same strategy. Lure and use your Z skill. Okay? So again, like I told you, we will be unlocking our second skill, the F skill. This is called Explosive Jump. So here it is. There you go, check that out guys. Now for the combo F skill and Z skill. You see that? Okay, so again, grinding will be faster. I decided to grind here until 55 because the brutes are too far. Okay, again, 55. When you reach that level, Bobby is our target. There you go, he will be no match for our combo, the Z and the F skill. So far, the skills are good. We are going to leave this area at level 60. And on our next island, we will unlock the X skill. The third skill in the desert. So guys, our target is the desert bandits. And more masteries to go before we unlock our X skill. So let's start defeating the desert bandits. There you go. Guys, level 75. We will unlock the X skill. As well as our new quest, the desert officers. Guys, sad news. Bomb grab is only a single target skill. So we will just rely on our Z and F skill combo. Don't worry, we will be using the X skill on the bosses. So at level 90, next island, guys, we won't be unlocking any skill here. So I will make things faster. So in the frozen village, first target, the snow bandits. Again, with our Z and F skill, that is enough. Our goal here is to reach level 105. And with that, we will unlock our boss Yeti quest. And finally, use our X skill, remember? <laughs> the single target skill. There you go. Guys, I really like doing that. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna do server hop here. This is the X skill. There you go. Until you reach level 120. And after that, next island, finally, we're gonna unlock our C skill here. Target is the Chief Petty Officers. Apologize. I keep on doing this. My favorite clip. Oh, don't forget to buy the Black Cape. This one costs 50,000. This increases your damage, some of your energy, and your health. And finally, our C skill is unlocked. So guys, landmines, based from the name itself, you can cast landmines around the map and within the range casted. Okay? Okay, so again, we're gonna grind here with the petty officers until you reach level 130. And after that, we can now start defeating the boss in this island. And that boss is the Vice Admiral. So guys, starting from here, we're gonna do server hop. And one more thing, the longer the press of the C skill will inflict higher damage once the enemy steps on it, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to defeat the Vice Admiral once and we're gonna skip this part because again, we're just gonna do server hop, okay? Until you reach level 220. Imagine guys, you can beat this boss at 130 so it gets easier every time you level up. So at 220 guys, finally we will unlock our V skill in this island so we're gonna start with the warden guys i'll make this fast wall strat okay lure them here make sure there's a wall in between you and use your skills there you go same with the chief warden guys wall strat 
is enough to defeat this. There you go. At level 240, you are gonna start defeating the swan, guys. We're still gonna do wall strike, but you need to create distance from the wall because if you don't, this will happen. Good news, we are going to unlock our final skill. Again, another last 10 masteries. So let's just keep on defeating the bosses. Because we're gonna include defeating the warden, the chief warden, okay? So for our V skill, the self-destruct. I see this skill looks like a Voltorbs or Electrode skill in Pokemon. So there you go. Again, we're gonna leave this area when we reach level 350. After that, next island, Magma Village. Our only target here is the Magma Admiral. And guys, we're gonna do server hop from this point on. Okay, so we're gonna reach level 425 here. And I'm gonna show you how to defeat the Magma Admiral. Guys, I'm just gonna show it to you once because again, we're gonna defeat this boss at 350. So every level up here will make things easier. We can increase our blast fruits for higher damage, our strength for more energy. Oh, that's melee. And our defense for more HP, okay? So it gets easier. There you go, just use your C skill. Oh, we almost died there. Just keep on casting your C skill. Wait for him to use his skills before you cast your own skills. Because he might hit you with his skill and it's over. Check that out. <laughs> okay. Guys, I did that on purpose. Believe me. <laughs> you can also unlock your observation hockey if you want. There you go. So again, we're gonna leave at level 425. Next island is the Whirlpools and then go straight to the underwater city. So here, we're gonna defeat the boss, the Fishman Lord. 425 is the requirement. So guys, technique, lure and do the wall strap and that's it guys again just a reminder we are going to do server hop here so what you're gonna see here it's the same same strategy that you're gonna use so again just do wall strap there you go just keep casting your landmines there you go actually this is kind of op to be honest and then use your skills make sure to use your body grab properly because sometimes you might get glitched inside there you go so that's it just a reminder, you can get damaged by one of his skills. So if you don't want to get damaged, just create distance. See that, guys? Just create distance and use your long-range skills. Okay? So again, at level 500, we're gonna leave this area and head straight to the Skylands. There you go, to the upper yard. And start defeating the Whisper. Guys, sadly, we cannot use our Stone Strap with this boss. Because almost all our skills has an explosion, so it will push back your enemy, which will give him a chance to aim at you properly. I'm gonna show it to you guys. We're gonna attack him. There you go. See that, guys? <laughs> well, anyway, again, we're gonna do server hop here with this boss. And also, a reminder, we're not gonna defeat the Thunder God. Why? Because he's so far away. And just focus on defeating this boss until you reach level 625. So at 625, we're gonna head to the final island, Fountain City, and our only target is the Galley Pirates. We are not going to fight the Galley Captains and the Boss Cyborg. We're gonna focus here. I'm showing you now how to lure them. You're gonna lure four at a time. Use your Z skill and F skill to defeat them. Don't forget to cast your landmines for additional damage. There you go. And also, don't forget to use your V skill, the self-destruct. Okay? So from here, we're gonna grind until you reach level 700. But guys, as bonus, I'm gonna defeat the cyborg for our last level. But I don't suggest this because it's really hard to be honest. See that guys, 214 HP left. Oh, by the way, should we continue this to max level? I'm still making the gum fruit one to max. And you help me decide, should I reach max level with this fruit or just make a noob to pro of all the reworked fruits in the game, okay? So again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Gnome, and Gamer Gnome out.